What up, folks? It's Illingsworth here with a more serious video. I would like to talk to you about production techniques, okay? Um, and the way I'm going to do that is to kind of uh, do my best to describe one of my uh, sampling, I guess, thought processes. And then maybe that'll spark some ideas within you, okay? So, if you are familiar with my work, you know that I sample things heavily and I chop things up. Uh, sometimes heavily, sometimes not so heavily, because sometimes it should be sound and sweet if you just leave it alone. Leave that shit alone. Just let it, let it go. Just tell people, hey, man, I know this was, I know I ain't do much, but y'all got to hear this shit. Anyways, um, one of my thought processes when sampling uh, comes from how much I enjoy melody, uh, specifically as it is uh, interpreted by the voice, okay? The human voice. Um, so oftentimes I feel myself drawn to samples that heavily feature people singing. Uh, some people stray away from that stuff. You know, they're like, I want open, I want open parts where it's just the, you know, just the horns, just the drum, you know, just that, that. I like the voices, and I also <laughs> it makes me so happy and gives me so much joy to take a sample of somebody's voice and chop that shit up in such a way where it kind of sounds like gibberish. But, you know, people often when they, uh, you know, tell me what they like about a beat like that, they'll be like, yeah, when it said going to the market down low. And it's like, I always laugh internally because I'm like, it's not saying anything, buddy. <laughs> but it's also really cool in a way that when you do these things, somebody else hears them and they interpret it as a sentence and then they you know they swear by it like it's saying that and it's like bro this is like three different sentences that got chopped together and reassembled um it's really just saying gobbledygook and your brain is making it do what it do but anyway all that aside what i'm saying is you know Maybe give that a try. If you're a person who doesn't sample stuff that has like voices all over it, give it a try. You'll hear some interesting things once you start to reassemble that boy. Um, and it'll take you practice because you're a human. <laughs> As am I. It took me practice. Uh, I've been making beats since I was shit. Well, let me not say that. I have I had my own equipment since I was in high school and I'm an old fucking dude now. Uh and I feel like I still got some some talents to discover. But you out there brand new beat maker, you are a clean fresh slate and you can take other people's techniques and mistakes and build on top of those and make your tower even taller. You feel me, dog? All right, that's all I wanted to say to y'all. Have a good day, YouTube or Instagram, wherever this video fits, because it's like four minutes, and I ain't about to edit this shit down. I'm outside of Bigby. Suck my dick. <laughs>